Matt Tenney, served to be great, leadership lessons from a prison, a monastery, and a boardroom. Welcome to the summary of A Serve to Be Great, Leadership Lessons from a Prison, a Monastery, and a Boardroom by Matt Tenney. This book dives deep into Tenney's personal journey from an incarcerated military officer to a mindful and dedicated servant leader. Learn how servant leadership strengthens companies like Southwest Airlines, Next Jump, and Zappos, and discover the profound impact it has on employees and the business core. By incorporating mindfulness into your management approach, developing empathy, and nurturing innovation, you can foster an atmosphere for employees and customers to grow together. This book encourages readers to treat people nicely and understand the power of empathy in business decisions. From Prison to Purpose The book tells the story of Matt Tenney, a former U.S. Marine Corps officer who was imprisoned for stealing almost $3 million from the Corps. During his five and a half years in jail, he discovered mindfulness, focused on the present, and learned to live a simple life. He discovered his passion for helping others and now shares his insights through speaking, coaching, and writing. Matt Tenney's book shares his journey from a life of crime to a life of purpose. As a young adult, he wanted to achieve financial freedom and resorted to illegal means, forging fake documents to steal almost $3 million from the U.S. Marine Corps, for which he was sentenced to five and a half years in jail. Life in jail was not easy for Tenney. He spent six months in solitary confinement with 22 hours of darkness a day. During this time, he discovered the power of mindfulness, which allowed him to focus on the present and accept his situation without comparing it to his past or future. He also learned to live simply, ignoring the constant noise and distractions around him, and practiced awareness training through long stretches of sitting silently. His journey toward inner peace helped him to empathize with his fellow prisoners and assist them in achieving peace of mind as well. After his release, Tenney nearly became a monk but realized that his true calling was in helping others in the real world. He spent time in Mazatlan, Mexico, setting up a summer school at a children's shelter, which allowed him to focus on helping people and spreading love. He now shares his insights on mindfulness and purpose through speaking, coaching, and writing. Tenney's story is one of hope, perseverance, and transformation. It shows that no matter how bleak our situation may seem, we can always choose to focus on what is within our control and use it for the greater good. By remaining mindful and living simply, we can transform our lives and help others do the same. Servant Leadership in Business The practice of servant leadership has been proven to yield positive business results, and many successful companies already incorporate it into their management beliefs. This leadership style places a commitment to others at the forefront, rather than a job title or measure of power. Southwest Airlines, Hershen Family Entertainment, and Next Jump are some examples of companies that have successfully implemented servant leadership, resulting in exceptional customer service, employee satisfaction, and talent retention. Firms with strong cultures can hire selectively and retain talented employees by engaging them fully in their work. The key is to inspire and touch their hearts, not just provide convincing arguments. The impact of cognitive biases on managerial performance. Drive E. Ted Prince's research highlights the connection between cognitive biases and managers' decision-making abilities, which can negatively impact their firm's profitability. Leaders who focus on their performance rather than leading people tend to micromanage, which erodes trust and crushes innovation. The illusion of control bias leads to overestimation of influence and poor decision-making, while the status quo bias impedes innovation. Innovative people require special handling, and servant leadership creates cultures promoting and nurturing innovation. Firms must encourage employees to grow and welcome their ideas while empathetic leaders must focus on the well-being of their employees. Zappos Customer Service Triumph Zappos has become an epitome of excellent customer service, driven by the company's culture and beliefs. The founders aim to provide an unmatched retail experience to customers, setting a new standard in the industry. 
Their focus on customer satisfaction is reflected in the rigorous training of phone representatives who engage with customers until their needs are met. Despite the challenging demands of this approach, Zappos representatives follow through on customer requests and solve their problems to maintain their satisfaction. Invariably, providing excellent service improves customer loyalty and generates a high return on investment. The importance of customer service goes beyond the investment in finding new customers since exceptional service builds lasting relationships that retain customers and convince them to pay higher prices. As such, it is essential to have a happy, motivated staff, and employee empowerment is key to this approach. By prioritizing culture fit during hiring and skills training, firms can maintain a sound work culture, receive better customer feedback, and attract new customers. Leading through serving. In times of crisis, NextJump employees in New York contributed 10% of their paychecks to assist out of work hourly workers. At NextJump, serving others is crucial in the workplace culture. According to the book, leading by serving helps an organization achieve sustainable success. Acts of kindness resonate deeply and could attract potential clients. Businesses can take advantage of free publicity via social media outlets like Twitter and Facebook. By connecting with the community, organizations can create a competitive advantage and strengthen their brand through positive word of mouth. Growing as a servant leader Becoming a servant leader requires continuous personal and professional growth. One of the keys to achieving this growth is by reading. John Spence, an esteemed international business consultant and lecturer, emphasizes the importance of reading business-related books as a method to expand knowledge. However, many do not prioritize reading or personal development. Servant leaders recognize the value of increasing their knowledge and being open to learning opportunities. To become a successful servant leader, it is important to prioritize serving others, weighing decisions based on how they impact your ability to serve. This includes distinguishing between wants and needs to make informed decisions. Setting expectations, promoting accountability, and indicating ways to optimize their output will motivate staff members to realize their full potential. Every interaction, whether positive, negative, or neutral, provides an opportunity to practice servant leadership. A simple smile or lending an ear to someone can have a positive impact and empower others. Aspiring servant leaders who cannot afford to provide training programs to their staff should assemble a library of business books and organize meetings to discuss related topics, or take a class themselves. Continuously growing as a person and as a leader is the key to being a great servant leader. Effective Leadership Habits Stephen Covey's The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People underscores the importance of active listening as a key leadership trait. Leaders who restrain their voice and encourage others to speak are more effective at empowering their workforce. Core values play a central role in decision-making, as they provide a foundation for successful enterprises. Violating core values is not an option, as it damages employee confidence and erodes leadership credibility. By promoting self-reliance and making employees feel valued, leaders empower their teams to make informed decisions and act with independence. Inspiring Leaders Effective leaders have a greater purpose that inspires others. Simon Sinek, in his book Start With Why, explains that leaders who can communicate why they do what they do, create successful teams. The ability to connect individuals to a larger objective or mission is key to great leadership, regardless of their industry or profession. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. is an example of a leader who inspired people by emphasizing his belief in racial equality. Effective leaders stick to their principles, especially in challenging times, by knowing that they serve a greater purpose. As we wrap up our summary of A Serve to Be Great, we have learned the true essence of servant leadership and its remarkable impact on businesses. Servant leaders provide a firm foundation for their organizations, empowering employees and creating a culture that fosters innovation and growth. Applying this management philosophy to your own workplace can result in increased employee satisfaction, customer loyalty, and long-term business success. By practicing mindfulness, embracing empathy, and nurturing innovation, 
you'll develop a deeply connected team that works together to deliver exceptional results. Remember to embrace lifelong learning and listen more than you speak to continue growing as a servant leader. This book's powerful message serves as a reminder that true leadership thrives when it is based on serving others, connecting to a larger vision, and standing for core values.